We are chasing for more stars with Funko Pop mystery boxes from mysterygrail.com. Check these out. What is going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Jeremy. Today is all Mystery Grail. So mysterygrail.com, they're great, fun, uh, very budget friendly mystery boxes. So you can hit some really good pops out of these. Let's run through what we're opening just real quick. Most of you are probably pretty familiar with uh, Mystery Grail, the company. So this one, I actually kind of forgot I had it. Like I knew I had it, but it was in the back of my head that it was in the closet. So this one was a damaged one that they did. I think it was before Christmas. Well, let me look at the label here. Whoa, November? Have I had that this long? November 20th is what the label says. Yeah, okay, well, I've just been trying to like find a good time to open it. I'm excited to open it. There was some crazy top hits, but I, I lost the picture. It happens every so often that I fail you guys and I don't have a picture to show you the top hits, but there was some really good ones. We're gonna open this one first and then actually, yeah, we're gonna open it first because these are, I'm excited for these. These are two of them from the holiday drop. So these are like Christmas themed ones. So these, the top hits in these are really awesome. There was only 500 of those, I think. And we've had this one for a while too. This one is from, yeah, November as well. Freddy and Friends. So there's a Freddy and then another random pop in here. There was some crazy Freddies you can get from those too. So let me break down the Mystery Grail boxes just real quick, just in case you'd ever bought one. Um, there are, I don't have any to show you the normal drops. So normally they drop on Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern. This is a themed box. This dropped on a Thursday, I believe. It's kind of harder on the holidays because they do a lot of different drops. But yeah, their normal Sunday drops are 15 a box and then their themed boxes can range in price. So obviously like the Freddy one, it's not gonna be 15 because there's two pops in it. So normally if you just get a Sunday one, they're gonna be 15 bucks a piece, very low risk. Like there's a good chance you're gonna get not a great pop. Just be aware of that if you do decide to buy one. I've pulled a lot of stinkers, but I pulled a lot of really good ones too. Not, not a lot, I guess. I think I've pulled four stars from them. So you're probably asking, well, what's a star, Jeremy? Well, what you wanna see when you open one of these mystery grill boxes is it's gonna say, way to go, you pulled a grail. There's gonna be a little star sticky note on it. It's really fun. It's, it's amazing feeling. Like, cause when you see the star and you know you only paid 15 bucks for it, that's a good feeling. Like that, that's a top five feeling in the world, I would imagine, pretty close to it. Okay, the damage box, I don't know if they come like these, so I'm gonna tip it on its side like we do normally, just in case they're individual, like they're already out of the box. Like, oh, that's a old fun cartoon, or not a, it wasn't a cartoon. Was it a cartoon? No. Man, I'm losing my mind. It's not a cartoon, it's out of the box of car, it was a real people show. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, this is, in a regular, okay, so it's boxed. All right, cool. So let's, so we have another box. So what do we have here? Did I order a regular one too? See, that's how long I've had this one. Sorry guys, let me see what I did. Oh, okay. So this is the scratch and dent from November 16th. And there's a mystery grail box in here from November 12th drop. So a little surprised because I forgot I forgot I had that one. So let's do let's do that one as well. I guess we're adding another mystery box. All right. Well, there it is. There's six in here. They're probably not going to be in protectors or anything. We're still going to do this one first, but we just added a little bonus one. So <clears throat> we're going to slice into this one while I'm cutting into it. Just head over, like the video, maybe subscribe to the channel and maybe check out some other videos I've been putting out. I've been trying to 
trying to get better with the content. So let me know how I'm doing and let me know if there's anything in particular that you would like to see in the future. I'm always open to suggestions on different things that I can do that you guys want to see. So let's see what we got here. I think we got our, I don't want to look down, but we got, we got our Grail Games Scratcher and we got our mystery, uh, our tokens for Mystery Grail. So those are really cool. I'll explain those in a little bit. Let's get through this box. So yeah, no, ooh, I feel some damage. Ooh, that one's rough. All right, let's do the middle top one because that's the easiest one to get out. I almost looked down. All right, first pop, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Candyman. I think there's a chase for this. I've never seen this movie. You probably know why. It's a horror movie and I don't do horror movies. At least I think it's a horror movie. It's If it's not a horror movie, it's like a scary thriller type movie. And I enjoy sleeping. I would assume that he probably lures people in with candy, which would work on me, especially if I had like a Kit Kat. But that's, a, that's an okay pop. It's not really, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but let's do the second one. I know the chase for that candy man does not, it's like a really cheap chase. So if that's the one with the chase, I'm not hundred percent sure. All right, second pop has a sticker. Let's go in three, two, one, Pinocchio. Ooh, oh, okay, it's the, I thought it was, wait, is this a Netflix one? Cause there's a Netflix. No, okay, this is cool. I was gonna say, if it's the Netflix one, those pops did not do well at all, but this is from actual Disney Pinocchio. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, 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 sorry. I think I'm actually getting sick because everyone in my family's sick. So my throat's a little sore right now, but this is a really great one. I like the wood, like the wood detail, like, cause he's a puppet. So that's a neat one. I'm not sure on the value on that. Probably not anything crazy. And let's see, what do we got here? All right, third pop. We're gonna go in three, two, one. No way. That's a Sesame Street pop. It's got, I mean, obviously it's got like a little bit of damage on it, but holy smokes. Wow. This might be, this, this is the one that I said had, I could feel, wait, is it? Hold on. No, it's not. That was the bottom row. This one has damage too. I mean, I don't need to explain that again. This is really cool because this is, I don't know which one, I know some Sesame Street ones aren't crazy expensive, but Sesame Street ones are good. This is a 2015 pop. This is a good hit. That's really cool. Uh, that, wow. We got three more pops left, guys. Like this is turning out to be pretty cool box. I also don't know if there's gonna be stars on these, on the damaged ones. I don't know if they put stars on them. Okay, fourth pop, three, two, one. Venomized Iron Man. The Venom ones, they're cool. They're high. A lot of people really like them. It's not really something that I ever really enjoyed. And to be honest, the Venom, Venomized Iron Man, it, it just looks kind of weird, in my opinion. So I try to be like really transparent about pops when I pull them. I don't want to fake emotions. So that's not a pop. That's not a pop for me. Like some of the Venomized ones are really cool, but I don't care for the Iron Man one. All right, we've got our fifth pop. This box feels rough, like it may be older, like an older pop. There's no sticker on the bottom for the date, so it might not, I don't know, let's check it out. Three, two, one, Aquaman. Oh, 20, so it's a New York Comic-Con, 2022. This is cool. This is Aquaman from the comics. In my opinion, kind of one of the like more underrated DC heroes like a lot of people give him a hard time because like he just talks to fish and stuff but he's actually really cool like if you watch the flashpoint paradox or read the comic book um he does a lot of really cool stuff in that movie it's a really good movie okay this is our last pop this one has a lot I can feel the damage on this like this one has a lot of damage it's got a sticker on the front it actually has two stickers on the front it's probably a Target sticker. I'm just, I want to guess once. Let's go on the last pop of this box. 
Three, two, one. Contest of Champions. Hey, I was right. Look at that. Target sticker. I've never heard of these. Contest of Champions. King Groot. It glows in the dark. I would almost bet the glow on this is actually really cool. But I doubt it's worth a ton. We'll check all the values at the end. But that's actually cool. Like, I don't know much about, like, the Groot universe if there is such a thing. And I don't know what Contest of Champions is. So we might have to check out the glow on that one at some point. But that, for a damage box, that was actually really good. So I would say three out of three, like three out of six were, were like ones that I could potentially keep or give to my daughter or, you know, whatever. The Sesame Street one is definitely the top hit for that box. Now, let's move on to the other one that was in there. So this is a regular drop. We're gonna cut it. We wanna see the star on the front. That's what we're hoping for. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. And the candy fell out. Oh, oh, actually, <laughs> that's really cool. So this is, it's, it's not for me, but it's cool. It's a great one. I don't think, I don't think we bought this for my daughter. It's Bruno from Encanto. Uh, she loves this movie. She's got like a little Mirabelle dress that she wears. So we might have bought, I don't think we did. I think, I don't think she has this. So she'll be happy to see that. That's really cool. We'll get our other candy out of here and our scratcher. Yeah, that's actually, I know for a little while the Bruno one held a decent amount of value, but I think it got a few restocks. So it might be right around the 15, but I don't know. We might be surprised on that one. Okay, I'm actually going to save the holiday ones because I'm really excited for those because I there's some hits in there that I really want. So let's do the Freddy and Friends one. These two pack ones are kind of tricky to do. So we're going to try it this way. Let me see what we got here. They kind of popped up a little bit. All right, come on. Ah. Man. All right. Let's do this. Three, two, one. What did we get? Skiing Freddy. I almost ordered that actually when it when it dropped. So let's see here. This is a really cool Freddy. It's not crazy valuable. At least I don't think it is. It's a fairly new pop. But we don't have this Freddy. And it's cool. I like this one. It's very unique. Yeah, that's a cool one. I'll take it. I'm very happy with that. The Willow Pop. I have another Willow Pop that I pulled out of a mystery box. I think they canceled it on Disney Plus. I've never seen it. I actually have General K-E or K-A-E-L. I call him General Kyle. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's what we're gonna go with. So that, I'm good with that. I like that Freddy. Skiing Freddy. That is a Funko Shop. Sorry if that was really loud. As you know, I have a really small table and I'm running out of room. So I'm, I'm happy with that, Freddy. I like that one. That's a cool one. Now let's do the holiday boxes. I want to finish all the Rudolph Pops and there was quite a few Rudolph ones in here and there was only 500 boxes. So still not great chances, but we have a chance. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, it's a DIY too. It's an office pop, but it's the DIY. It's Dwight Schrute from the office in like a Santa hat, I guess is what they're what it's supposed to be. Um, it's okay. The DIY ones are not they're not the greatest. So they to me they kind of look like prototypes, like some protos. So like that. They can be kind of like, you see it and you're like, oh, is that a proto? And then you're like, oh, it's not. It's just, it's just a DIY. But that one's probably not even worth 15, I would, I would guess. All right. Last pop of the day. Let's see if we can get the star. Let's go. Last holiday box. Three, two, one. Oh, Deadpool. Deadpool wearing a sweater. There's a lot of themed Deadpools. This one's kind of cool. 
I sort of enjoy Deadpool. He's a little, a little foul for me, I guess, and not like the birds. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bad joke. But these like Christmas ones, I really like the Wolverine. I know it's not this pop, but the Wolverine uh, with the snow all over him, I think that one's cool. But eh, it's not bad. It's a Christmas pop, so maybe we'll put it out next year. I still have a few of them up here I got to take down, but um, it's not, it doesn't fit the collection because we don't collect Marvel, but it's Deadpool. Deadpool is okay. I like his, like, I like his origins. I did not like how they represented him in X-Men Origins. That was terrible. But uh, let's check the values and we're going to be right back. All right, we are back with some values. So I didn't check all the values. There's a lot of pops to go through. And personally, like, the damage box was super fun. I just don't, the ones that we pulled, I know there's no crazy hits. And with the damage, it's going to be, it would make it even harder to assess a value on them. So I only checked the value on the Ernie because the Sesame Street ones. So that one wasn't terrible. $29 for this one. So this is one of the, the cheaper uh, Sesame Street ones. There's some pretty expensive ones. It's pretty beat up. So... I probably wouldn't try to sell it just because I would, I would, I'd be lucky to get half on this because the top's ripped right here, but I knew it was a damaged box going into it. So I took the risk. There's a big scuff here. Honestly, the damage that's on here, it's a little faded on the front. Put it in a protector and you won't even be able to see it. I, part of me kind of wants to start collecting the Sesame Street ones just because there's a lot of nostalgia for the show. So that's a good, that's a good hit. I really like it. Skiing Freddy, I did check that one just to see. I know it's a fairly new Freddy. So yeah, this one was only $14. This might actually, I don't think this was one you had to buy one of their Funko mystery boxes to get. So this might still be in stock. I'd have to check. And then I'll check too, like if any of them, like if they stand out to me that maybe I was wrong, I'll check the values on them just to see. But I don't think, I don't think any of them are gonna hold any crazy value. The Bruno, uh, it did go down in value a little bit, but it's still, we still made money technically. So Bruno from Encanto is $22. So that's actually really good for a mystery go box. I know that sounds crazy. Like, oh, 22 bucks, that's not very much at all. But you only pay 15 bucks. So 22 bucks for a $15 box, that's a really good ahead value. Like that's, that is really good. And to be completely honest, I was thinking as I was checking these, like what my favorite one is. And I was going to say Ernie, like Ernie is definitely a favorite, but I really like all three of these. Like the skiing Freddy is awesome. The Bruno is really cool. Um, I would watch Encanto even if I didn't have kids. Like I love that movie. It's such a good movie. So Bruno is I love Bruno the, as the character in the show or in the movie. So I don't really, I don't really know what to pick as a favorite. I'm going to pick all three of them as a favorite. How about that? I opened them. I make the rules. So yeah, all three of them, they're all really great. These, this was, I'm pleasantly surprised with what we came away with today. All right, let's just wrap it up there. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I do really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to like the video, comment down below what your favorite hit was, and if you ever purchased a Mystery Girl box before. Just make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Remember to be kind to each other, and have a good day.